Why should you not be held liable when it is very clear that you have violated Section 4 of your franchise? Ano hong rason na may bibigay nyo sa amin na hindi kayo dapat patulan o hatulan ng uh, violation against your franchise? Very clear ho. Ang aligasyon ho ng SMNI, 1.8 billion pesos ang ginastos ng Kongreso sa traveling expenses. It is on record, and if you want that we can uh, furnish you the records, nanditong finance officer, nandito check gen, ang ginastos until October was only 39 million pesos. So it would be impossible na magkakaroon po ng gastos ng 1.8 billion pesos dahil yung budget for traveling expenses ni hindi nga umabot dun sa eh, sinasabi yung 1.8 billion pesos. Why should you not be held liable for this uh, Section 4 responsibility to the public, Mr. Chair? Uh, Mr. Chair, I can answer it, Mr. Chair. Attorney Tolentino is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Actually, Mr. Chair, there was no in, there was no allegations uh, about the 1.8 million a billion pesos, Mr. Chair. It was just a question, given not in behalf of SMNI, but given about it is a statement by an anchor of SMNI, and there is a disclaimer in every program of SMNI that any statement made by the anchor guest is not the official stand of SMNI. Second, Mr. Chair, there was no deliberate false uh, information. I'd like to invoke, Mr. Chair, the, the jurisprudence of the Philippine Supreme Court about freedom of press and freedom of expression. It is part of our constitutional and republican uh, principle, Mr. Chair, as a country and as a republic, that there is a jurisprudence that freedom of press and freedom of expression includes uh, some, uh, what they call this, false or inaccurate statement, if there's any inaccurate statement. Freedom of press and the freedom of expression is one of the highest form of constitutional right in our Philippine Constitution. That's why there was no deliberate false accusation. And, sec and third, Mr. Chair, in every act provided under the civil code, there is a presumption of good faith. So the, the one who alleges bad faith on the part of SMNI, the, the one who alleges that there is violation of Republic Act 11422 should be the one to prove it because we are presumed innocent we are presumed doing within the bounds of the law. And humbly, Mr. Chair, uh, what we are doing here, we acted in good faith. Uh, humbly, we acted in good faith. And there was no statement, official statement, given by SMNI. And ang ginagawa po natin ngayon, uh, Mr. Chair, gumagawa po kami ng, ng, ng investigation uh, internal investigation kung may nangyari ba talagang statement about the 1.8 billion because based on our initial investigation, there was none. It was just a question. That's why, Mr. Chair, if I may, we'd like to ask that the video, the, the subject video we have here, a USB, to be played. So anybody will be, or everyone, uh, may chance na makita nila Kung ano ba talaga ang video na yan? May nakalagay bang statement? Or it was just a question in the exercise of freedom of press? Mr. Chair, may I comment on uh, this statement of attorney? You mentioned about freedom of expression. While it is true that the Constitution guarantees the freedom of expression in speech, is constitutionally protected, there are species of speech and expression that are not constitutionally protected. Among these are obscenity, pornography, hate speech, defamatory speech, libelous marks, and fighting words. It is important to note that the recent broadcast by SMNI against Congress, against particular groups and individuals, and recently against the travels, uh, speakers' <coughs> travel expenditure, do not fall under the ambit of the constitutionally protected expression. 
Very clear po yan, I smear campaign yan, Mr. Chair. But anyway, um, let us go to another section of your franchise. This is with regards to Section 12. Reportorial requirement. During the term of its franchise, the county shall submit an annual report to the Congress of the Philippines through the Committee on Legislative Franchises of the House of Representatives and the Committee on Public Services on its compliance with the terms and conditions of the franchise. Ito po ang mga dokumento na kailangan isabit ninyo. Your franchise was granted in 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23. The annual report shall include an update on the rollout, development, operation, or expansion financial statements, latest general information sheet officially submitted to Securities and Exchange Commission certificate of the NTC on the status of its permits and operations and an update on the dispersal of ownership undertaking if applicable. Now, Mr. Chair, may I know from the uh, Secretariat whether they have complied with the annual reportorial requirement? Marami yung dokumento ito. So, gusto ko po malaman kung uh, nasubmit po ng uh, SMNI lahat ng dokumento na ito. Please reply, Comsec. While we're waiting, let's just um, put it in proper. Uh, yung 1.8 billion, ang statement ng SMNI, hindi po yun sa entire house. Ha? Yung 1.8 billion, sa speaker lang yun. Hindi mo sinabi, hindi nila. Uh, if I may, Mr. Chair, there was, we, we deny that there's a statement. It was just a question na answerable by yes or no. Well, I'll, I'll have my time with you later, don't worry. But um, let's just put it on record, no? just so that we can put things in its proper perspective. No? It's not the House, it was the fifth speaker that they mentioned. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chair, that could yes. be another matter, but uh, uh, may I know uh, the answer of the Committee Secretariat regarding my question on the reportorial requirements? Because okay. this is a responsible of SMNI in accordance with uh, their uh, franchise on Section 12. Uh, Mr. Chair. Okay, before, um, maybe before, uh, who's, who, who's asking, who's the question to be recognized? Okay, somebody. Mr. Chair, Attorney Supiko, Mr. Chair, yes. our staff has informed us that we have submitted the yearly requirements, but I will ask her to bring it to the committee secretary. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 